um, what are trauma responses. Trauma responses are very broad and they can manifest in many different ways from our physical person to our emotional state to our mental state spiritually. So I'll give a couple of examples in each one. Physically, we might notice something that I often see with my practice and clients, which is sleep dysregulation. So in the face of something overwhelming, think of it almost like uh, our nervous system literally being jarred and rattled. So you can imagine if our entire nervous system is overwhelmed and out of sync, that's going to make it hard. It's going to impact other systems, including our sleep. Um, Physically, it can also result in physical aches and pains, right? And that's our body's way of sort of working through and trying to realign itself back to some sort of balance. So physical aches and pains. Uh, Emotionally, we may be more irritable, which makes complete sense. Our world's been turned upside down. We've had this sudden impact that we feel is going to overwhelm us. And so we may be a little bit more what I like to call prickly, right? When when things are happening around us. Uh, We might also just be angry that it's happened in the first place. Um, And so we may be lashing out at people or turning inward um, to sort of deal with that. Mentally, we might experience challenges concentrating, so have a difficult time focusing on things, uh, or just sort of difficulty with decision making. So things that might be simple on the surface might take a little bit longer for us to process, and it might take a little bit longer for us to make a decision about um, things that are in our normal routine. And then spiritually, If you think about this, nobody wakes up and anticipates something sudden and overwhelming to happen, right? We wake up and we think, hey, I'm just going to go to work today. I'm just going to go and pick the kids up or I'm going to go to the grocery store and just get grocery shopping. And then something sudden and traumatic happens. And so spiritually, it can cause us to go into kind of an existential crisis, like what does this make, what does this mean in the world? How do I make sense in the world? How in the world could this could have happened, right? So lots of questions can come up. And those are just a few of the sort of responses that can happen in the face of trauma. 